I've been in Satesa now for two years, uh, two and a half years almost. My name is Camila Plaza. I'm a senior healthcare analyst at the Satista R department. I am doing rankings. So that's what our department does. We do rankings. I'm in the healthcare team. So we do rankings for the healthcare sector. Uh, that means rankings for hospitals, uh, healthcare facilities, doctors. The vision at Satista R is to bring transparency to the markets. In our rankings, we recognize the best in different areas that could be healthcare, that could be employers, and this is a way for different institutions to showcase their quality to the end consumer. It really is a very great environment to work in. You're encouraged to learn, you're encouraged to grow as a professional, to really collaborate with other people that not necessarily are in your team. It's very international, which, you know, for someone who isn't international here, that's also a very big, um, that's a very big component. So the steps for the ranking, the very, very first one starts out with research. So you need to essentially find that spot in the market where you don't have this transparency. So where, where can you provide more information on the quality of on a certain aspect in a certain industry? Based on that, you identify what institutions you want to be ranking, what is your scope of eligibility, and you compile long lists based on that. So which companies, which institutions meet those requirements. You then go into the survey phase. So survey or programming, this means that you design the surveys, you identify participants, so who, who is going to be your target group for these surveys, and also what kind of data do you want to analyze. Once you've gotten your surveys, you've collected your data, you then have to analyze the data. You have to look into the quality of it. What is the data telling you? You compile that into your ranking models, and based on that model, which are the best or the top institutions for your different ranking. For the lunch breaks, we usually have lunch together. In the summer, we like to go over to the park, Plankton Rom. If it's raining, <laughs> I think at most we coordinate where we want to get lunch from and then we'll walk there together. It depends on the day, also depends a bit on the project phase um, that I might be in for the different rankings. Of course, there's always the weekly meetings for projects, so those are those can be spread out throughout the day or throughout the week. Scheduling meeting with the other analysts, you know, progress checks, and in most cases we have client meetings also in the afternoon because of the time differences. To wrap up, I try to check uh, what I've done during the day, if I've gotten all my to-dos that were urgent, and then kind of structure a little bit what do I need to work on tomorrow. So if there's anything that I know I need to tackle first thing, then I would just make sure that all of that is set up. And then just saying bye to colleagues, uh, making sure that everything is clear if they have any questions or if we have to schedule a meeting. What advice I can give to someone who wants to join? Be curious. I think that's the best advice I can give. Uh, when you're working with data, it's, it's not just about looking at numbers or statistics. Statistics will tell you something, but you have to be curious about what they are telling you. You have to be inquisitive and not just take numbers for kind of these abstract concepts. So that would be my my biggest advice, to be really curious with the data that you're, that you're working on. Um, to not be afraid to ask questions. I think that's something that a lot of uh, people who are starting out in their career are worried, you know, what are they gonna think if I don't know this? But this is, again, this is really an environment where you're encouraged to learn and to ask these questions and to grow.